Hi and welcome to another inspiring artist worth studying. Today I am going to be talking about Yoshikazu Yasuhiko. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist in The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. So Yoshikazu Yasuhiko is the designer of the original uh, Mobile Suit Gundam uh, character designs and mecha designs. <clears throat> I believe he was a character designer. I, I know that he was the original designer for the mecha designs. And uh, he, uh, the reason I'm talking about him is, is because he, he, he has in the last few years um, come out with a manga that's kind of a, a retelling of the original Mobile Suit Gundam anime uh, or, or story. Um, it, it, it's in manga form and it veers and changes a little bit from the actual uh, uh, the, the, the animated movie from 1979 uh, but uh, but it, it's, it's generally the same it's just like a lot of the little details are changed but I wanted you I wanted to talk to you about him because uh, recently uh, I've been drawing a lot of uh, mecha specifically a lot of Gundams just because I'm a fan and I wanted to learn how to draw uh, mecha and, and things like that and I wanted to challenge myself and try it to do it myself and I uh, I, uh, I I drew quite a bit I I, stud I looked at a lot of artists doing it uh, and something that I discovered because I went through a lot of manga looking at the Gundam manga and uh, and uh, and there's some amazing uh, artists out there doing doing some amazing manga. But one of the things that I found was that a lot of the time the 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 art of these uh, of these uh, mecha of, the, of these stories uh, had really great looking artwork when it came to drawing the the mecha, the Gundams, and the Zaku's, and and all the mobile suits. But you couldn't tell what the blazes was going on. Uh, it, it, it was like a lot of splash pages, a lot of close-ups, a lot of explosions, a lot of action, but nothing was clear. There was no clear, cohesive uh, notion as to where these people were, what happened before. What, there was it's just a lot of yelling, a lot of talking about what was happening, but you can't really tell what's happening. And they kind of tell you in the dialogue, but you can't really read you can't really see through the visuals what actually occurred. It, 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 they're, they're, they're beautifully drawn messes. They were just complete messes. The storytelling really was lousy, but the artwork was really nice looking. Uh, this is not the case with uh, Yoshikazu uh, Yasuhiko's work. He, because of his animation background, his 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 storytelling tends to be very uh, storyboard like, uh, very uh, all animation like. Like very, it breaks down the action into very readable chunks, uh, so that you could read what is going on. I'm going to show you some examples of what I mean, and on top of that, I'm going to show you why I'm specifically pointing his artwork out because the way he draws. It is amazing. So let's get to it here. So in this page here, this is uh, one of the first pages I just wanted to, to point out here. So we've got uh, some Zaku's coming in. Uh, these gonna be these are gonna be all in uh, out of order. I just grabbed a, a bunch of different uh, pages from different uh, uh, parts of the manga that I'm gonna be talking about. Because I'm going to be talking about this particular manga to study from. And uh, as you can see, we've got um, all of these guys. And you, you could already read that they're all together like this. You could see where they are together. And then we've got this close-up here. And you can tell that there's this laser is, is coming from here. See how it's how it, it, it zooms in we get this highlight and then we see what the before page boom boom after so 
already we get this very clear action. We know where everybody's standing, um, and, and it's and it's all it it all reads really really clearly. Uh, again, and by the way, this is a manga, so we're reading from right to left. So this is that's why it it, 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 it goes like this. And but but and here's the 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 thing about the artwork here and this is the one of the things that um that blows my mind about his work it's that um he draws very complex ob uh, things like like the these mobile suits um and they're full of the fine uh details that make up the, mo the these these machines but he does it in a, I want to say minimalist, but it's not minimalist. The details are there, but it's done in this kind of like, uh, it, I, I can't describe it. It, it. It's loose and free is the idea. Like it's really just uh, not labored. It's 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 very it's unlabored. I I, I don't uh, I don't know how else to un, to to describe it. There is no like trying really hard to with rulers. I mean like there is like you know straights and rulers and things like that here. But when it comes to the machines, it just seems like effortless art. Like like it's not. Every single line has to be connected. Look, all you have to do is look at this and see how how minimalist it is while still having all the details in here. And look at this beautiful, these beautiful drawings. I'm going to show you some more. Look at these hands. So here we have very clear, clear drawings. They're they're full of all the details that need to be there, but at the same time. It's not overlay. It doesn't look labored over. It doesn't look like he's like sitting here, like drawing every single knob. Uh, it's it's it reads really really clearly. Like this this drawing here where we have uh, this this uh, Zaku opening this up. And he turns the he turns the knob here and it opens up. And then we have this drawing here where we have the opening up. Then it, then we see the as it keeps opening, and then we have another shot of it opening. So it's it you, we're we're drawing we we have the the storytelling and the drama, but at the same time we have this here beautiful drawings, and they're just not. It doesn't look like he's labored over them, and then they but they look so solid and so so there like it's it's so well drawn while looking so simple so and look at the look at the drama here the de there's no some of this detail is very minor but but the lighting itself just adds to the drama the drawing looks solid the the composition is dramatic very very minimal it just feels so minimalist even though there's still so much and and it's not it, you, it's not not every rivet not every every uh panel line is being drawn uh it, it, see that that's what i'm talking about it, it's very simplified while still being has detail and and still uh, solid story uh, he, i don't even know how it's possible. Like, like I, when I look at the work, I'm like, how is he doing this? Like, how is he not caught in all the stuff? Like, uh, I'm, uh, the more I look at the stuff, the more I want to just keep emulating this. Um, this is really very simple. Look at this background. It's very just kind of indicated here. Um, but the storytelling here again is very very clear. Uh, he comes in here. We have this this um, 
uh, car, and it's and it's and it just feels very minimal. Look over here again, car coming over, very soft. It's just beautiful, beautiful work, and and the and the artwork of the people. Here's something that I found that a lot of the time the the drawings of the people in in some of the manga is really not as good as some of the mecha or vice versa some of the mecha is not as good as some of the characters but the, he does like a perfect job of balancing both um we have great beautiful backgrounds here and they look full of detail while still not looking labored um it looks just just like he just it, it looks almost like a sketch Okay, so here we have the this we we have the and then we pull out. See, it's really cinematic, just showing the moments. Right, this is getting cut, and then boom, it pull, it falls out, and then we have the things open up, and then it keeps opening up, and then to reveal the zakus, and then we go behind the zakus as this opens up, and then we see that they're going into the into the colony, and. Look at this drawing of the Zakus. You you have the details of the Zakus while still very minimal. Actually, the the solidity, the the some of the panel lining effects uh, come from the lighting, the way that the that the, the that it's that the um, the zip tone is being used here. And then, but there's all this black. He puts all this black in here, right? All this black, all this black, and so he he's he's adding blacks to these uh, mobile suits and it just it doesn't take away from all what feels like really detailed work and yet again like i don't even know how like i wouldn't ever i would have never thought to put like a little white outline right here uh, it, but but it but it but it totally works. It, it, it feels like it's they're they're underlit. Um, it looks like they're lit from the inside. I mean, it's what what? It's it's so good. And and, and look how but but look how simple it feels. So simple while being really complicated. There's something about the beauty of this artwork. Look how it, like just. The way that he uses light, the way that he uses uh, lost edges, he, that's, that's the thing. He uses a lot of lost edges. Lost edges meaning that he, he lets um, the edges of things fade into the background, fade into one another, fade into ob other objects. Like right here, like the helmet and the, and the seat are, are connected. In, into in, in, in with they're lost into each other without without in the face here is just minimalist face and then it goes into the mask without actually finishing the face and it just kind of is lost and it works so well it just adds so much drama right here like this area here it's just lot this whole entire area is lost one giant lost edge uh how, how do you do this? I, I how do you make those? This I don't I don't know. Like that's one of the things that I like about looking at his work. It's just like he he, he doesn't he he leaves the audience to fill in some of the blanks, um, and 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 it just adds so much more so much drama. Um, here we have a, a, a shot of of the of the gun cannon coming down the shoulder cannon boom and it comes down click so that's really great you know we have the moment is 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 is, is um spaced out so you can see it and it goes boom boom click boom and it shoots and the and the uh, and the effect has so much power and yet look at the, look at this look at the mobile suit look how look how it's drawn um it, it you all the panel lining all the detail is there but but he leaves so much he doesn't connect all the lines he just kind of leaves uh, leaves it minimal like the lines are m just enough uh, there's a lot of lost edges going on it, it, but it feels connected it feels whole 
if I was drawing this, I'd be connecting all the little lines. And, and, and there's so much more power and energy when you don't do that. If you're not sitting there meticulously doing all the tiny little details, which is one of the reasons why I, I'm studying his work, is is how do you how do you leave stuff out? It's the it's what's left out that I really in, uh, uh, that that really amazes me about his work. Look look what he's leaving out. Look at this. It's a close up of the face of the of uh, of the Gundam. But he's leaving all this out, all, all the all these details out. There's this Zaku. He jumps on top of the back of the Gundam. There's a lot of lost edges. There's a lot of like uh, broken lines. Um, none of these lines seem like they're like ruled. It looks like he's just kind of they're all hand done. Um, uh, the lighting is amazing in here. Uh, look at this! Look at this drawing! Look! Look at the look at the, how the way that it's lit here, and then he, you could see it coming out of this kind of cloud of uh, while this is is in the foreground, and it's and it's got its its uh, its details. Um, this there's a Zaku on top of this Gundam here, but he's it's it's the way that it's lit. The way that it's drawn just seems so minimal. Look at this drawing. So minimal. It just feels so... Uh, look, look how he doesn't connect these lines here. Like he leaves these fingers with a bunch of lost edges. And, and, then it, and, and all you get is right here in this area here. And then everything else is white. And then there's dark here with this lighting. I don't get it. It's it's blowing my mind. I don't I don't understand how he he can make these how does he make these decisions and make it look so dynamic and exciting. We've got this eye. Look, notice how we actually see the details in the eye here that is usually just black. Then we have this kind of explosion. This guy's coming it's exploding from the inside. It's coming he's coming apart. But look at look at how minimal the the how disconnected minimal line work and then he explodes this beautiful beautiful drawing it's just so much action and energy <sighs> I, I i don't i don't understand look at this crazy drawing uh there's so much going on here so many uh vehicles coming in we've got the background coming in and yet at the same time no, everything does this does not look labored over it looks like he's just kind of really quickly kind of scribbling it looks like a sketch um all of these things look like a sketch uh and yet i can't i i don't again like i it's blowing my mind because it just feels like like he just it's unlabored. It just feels so unlabored. Like it feels like he just kind of cranked it out, like really uh, simply. This is gorgeous. This explosion. This is total animation storyboard uh, art here. Like you just get the moments of this explosion as she comes towards the camera. This is this, but any other artist that that doesn't ha isn't in the animation tradition would have just done one one page maybe this would have been the splash page and that's it but he just did he did he did moments he did this whole kind of like little storyboarded moment uh there are there are scenes in the manga that are colored um i believe it's all watercolor it could also be gouache i'm not sure it could be colored inks i'm not sure um but when he adds color, it's also both minimalist and full of action. And it's very exciting. And, uh, and again, like it, ha it, ha like it has that simplicity. Uh, this is a full drawing, yet it feels, again, not very labored. It feels like he's just kind of very simply drawing this out and then he just adds this beautiful color wash over the whole thing and, and it's just it just works it's just so good um oh we already saw this 
Oh, that was it. So, um, it, it, it blow, it, his work blows my mind. I, I don't, I don't even know how he does what he does. That's one of the things that, that, um, the reasons why I'm recommending him. Uh, just look at the work. Look at the energy that that if, of this this uh, of this work. Look how much power he gets out of lighting and minimal uh, and 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 um, lost edges and uh, and just this effortless uh, line work. That is that just doesn't seem very labored. Um, I just uh, I, it blows my mind. I I just don't know how it's done. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try as hard as possible when I when when doing my own not only my own comics but any kind of drawing with some kind of mobile suit or a mecha. To try to capture something of his uh, work, of this kind of minimalist, just enough, but allowing the audience to put in the rest kind of artwork. Um, he's a he's a great example of of how to do. Th and, and and I'm only showing you a little bit, like. You, I I was I, I was looking a friend of mine, um, John John Narcome showed me his his copy of his of his manga, and then I um I picked it up, um, and this is only one of a lot. There's a lot of these. Uh, I believe there might be over ten of them now, but uh, pick up a copy. Of the the mobile suit uh, Gundam Origins uh, manga, I'll have a description of it. In uh, I'll have a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, uh, the it, it's 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 hardcover. It's a hefty hefty book. The paper in it is super glossy and amazing. The reproduction of the artwork is insane. Uh, the story is f great. I, I've I've always loved the original Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, and, and seeing a new version of it, like a retelling of it, with a little bit more of a modern sensibility, but also very different, uh, slightly different version of it, uh, is great. There are colored pages in it, uh, which is great, and the reproductions of these colored pages are amazing. Uh, there, there's so much to learn from this. There's so much because the guy is so masterful at color, drama, lighting, composition, and storytelling. Um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful work. Um, highly, highly recommend this. Uh, especially if you are interested in drawing any kind of... Uh, machines or, or giant robots or whatever so um and storytelling uh how to how to very clearly show uh uh story beats uh so that they read well and add drama through panel layout uh the other thing is um i wouldn't recommend looking for this comic online via downloadable manga online kind of um i mean you can you can you could read it that way and you could um uh, look at the artwork like i just showed you via uh like like this like like digitally 
even if you're reading it on a big uh, tablet where you could see the artwork big, it's not the same. I know, I, I'm telling you, I was, I was looking at the work digitally in my big tablet. I even read a little bit of it digitally. There's a huge difference between looking at the digital, digital page and actually looking at a physical print of the work. There's something about looking at the physical print and looking at, at how it looks on an actual glossy page and holding it open and looking at it like this, that it makes a world, it's so different. Highly recommend you get a print copy of the book. Don't just go and read it. And it, it it's not uh, digitally uh, or online. It's just not the same. It's just not the same. I don't, I don't know what, how, how to explain it. It's, it's very, very different. I'm, I'm very used to reading digital comics. Uh, I read digital comics all the time. It's not the same. It, the, at least not with this. Okay, so uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much, and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye.